Today in the spotlight, the all-new Unity UPO-1204 Ultra Phosphor Oscilloscope, 4 channels, 200 megahertz, that's the booyah. Big shout out to Unitrainus.com, thanks so much for sending it in for this review. Another stellar piece of test gear from Unity. Wow, gotta love this. Modern design, I, I like what Unity's really done, uh, the overall look and feel. And I mean, let, let's boot up this oscilloscope, four channel analog, and look at that, it's like a freaking rainbow. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> yes, never gets old, believe you me. So boot up time is around 10 seconds or so. Not the fastest boot up uh, oscilloscope out there, but uh, nonetheless, it is booting up. Okay, that's more like 15 seconds actually. And finally we're there. Okay, so about a 15 second boot up, uh, give or oh take. My God, it is absolutely so easy on the eyes. Yeah. Vertical resolution is eight bit, uh, not 12 bits. That's part of the 2000 and above series. So eight bits for the vertical resolution. Well, what does that mean? Good question. Basically, you don't have quite the high dynamic range as you would with a 12-bit, but hey, at the end of the day, this is still quite a scope. And of course, Unity gives us our passive probes, four to be exact. I guess it goes with the four channels. And, and our certificate of calibration. And once again, I love it. I love it when I get a certificate of Cal because it tells me that this has been tested before it left, leaves the factory. And when you're buying expensive test equipment, uh, even good price test equipment, you want it to be calibrated. Unitrend technology, uh, 2023, November 23rd. So this was just recently calibrated at the Unitrend factories. And uh, yeah, that puts a smile on my face. I'm smiling, I, I'm honestly smiling. And finally, you don't get a user manual in the box. Don't so you got to go to the Unity website and download the electronic version. It's in PDF format. That's okay. But, you know, sometimes it's nice just to pull one out of the box instead of downloading the PDF and printing it out, right? Anyway, they do give you this rather thick safety precaution manual, which is full of nothing. Multiple languages, uh, legal jargon. Anyway, uh... Another nice feature here is that bandwidth, uh, 200 megahertz, two gigs per second, very, very fast. Just remember that two gigabit sampling rate, that is with one channel. If you go dual channel, it's gonna drop down to one gigabit per second. Take note of that. All the buttons on board here, all soft touch, um, illuminated, uh, you name it, they are just gorgeous to uh, deal with. Doesn't matter how many hours you're gonna spend in front of your oscilloscope, you won't get tired of touching the buttons, <laughs> they're really nicely done. Um, fit form finish, uh, what can you say? As professional as it comes, everything top quality, and yeah, four channel analog outputs. Um, they're not gold tipped, but you know what? Hey, we're talking about a $500 or so US instrument here, so uh, let's be real. Hey, 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 how would you like to win a Unity? Of course you would. Unless you're flatline, get it, flatline? <clears throat> no, 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 we want you to win, yes. So please leave a comment below and guess what? Three comments, three different videos in this Spring Into Spring event. You get my drift, three more chances to win. Hope to see you on the winner's side. Draw will be held on April 30th. On the back of the unit, we have two ELTS, external trigger as well as an auxiliary. And on the other side, we have our RJ45 LAN output as well as a USB out for the uh, computer. Comes with a nice carrying handle as well and has this nice rubber inlay, which is really grippy, groovy. I love it. Uh, yeah, doesn't weigh uh, too much, but it's got a bit of heft to it. And that on off rocker switch right here as well. So easy to turn the machine off and on uh, permanently if you don't want to leave it just running idly on your bench. 
You can see as well, we have these grooves, sort of netted meshing going on in the back as well. We have a lot of passive cooling go on. Uh, always running that fan, even when the unit is off, surprisingly, you can still hear a low hum of the fan. So that's probably my only caveat thus far of having this for about a week and a half or so on the benches. It is you know, just a little bit on the noisy side. I mean, not noisy, noisy, but it's loud enough. It's not like dead silence like that uh, power supply from Unity I just reviewed. No, you definitely will hear it on the bench. And finally, we have those big rubberized feet on the back. Gives a really good solid footing for your oscilloscope. Uh, maybe a little bit of a dust collector, but that's okay. And of course, what kind of bench equipment would not have those nice adjustable feet? Of course, the Unity definitely has those. Once again, with that rubber inlay again, you can either open it up or keep it flat, whatever you want. So with any oscilloscope, the first thing you want to do is make sure that probe is properly reading the signal, calibrated, so to speak. Right now I'm on the times one connection. And as you can see, we are hooked up to that default probe compensation out here. And yes, indeed, we are looking good. Didn't have to do any finagling with this one. It is good to go right out of the box. You can do a quick calibration before we start things off over here. Remove all connection from inputs and press confirm to continue. So here we go now. It is self-calibrating. -calibra Takes a little while, as you can see, to self-calibrate. So when you do this, prepare to have about five minutes or so handy. You can hear the relays sort of clicking in the background, depending on what part of the calibration process is going on. Always a good idea to calibrate that scope before you use it, just to make sure you're definitely, uh, you know, where you want to be. Almost done. And self-calibration success already. We go into the utility menu at the top here. This brings up all of our sub menus for self calibration, system info, languages, time set, the whole nine yards. I did the self calibration already. If we click on system information, it'll give you a lowdown of the specs that your oscilloscope is running. In this case, we're looking at the Unity UPO 1204. And uh, don't look at that serial number, please, and thank you. Um, yeah, so. We can set up our IP address if we want to put this on the network, either DHCP or static, however you want to sign your uh, network connectivity. Really nice menu, I've got to say, it's very verbose and very, uh, you know, very easy to use. It's intuitive, which I like. a couple of waveforms here. Uh, this is an AppSign wave coming in at 500 millivolts, peak to peak is the amplitude. And uh, no worries here, 500 millivolts, peak to peak, very nice verbosity here on this large display. Uh, seven inch display, by the way, so uh, definitely easy on the eyes. I'm going to switch waveforms now on my uh, function generator to a complex wave file. They call it a complex AN wave file. What the heck is an AN? Anyway, I'm going to hit the auto set. It's going to do a seek, and there we are. And this one is coming in once again at 500 millivolts peak to peak. I turned off the most of the studio lighting here just so you can see how verbose those colors show up on the oscilloscope. Super, super easy on the eyes. And speaking of easy on the eyes, that phosphor technology really does make a difference. I spent no word of a lie about six hours on this scope the other day and my eyes were not tired at all. So it really makes a difference. But man, look at that display. It is just oh, so, so nice. I've got the Unity function generator out as well. This is another brand new one, the UTG 1042X. And look at that nice sine wave coming on. Let's try a square wave. No worries here. Ramp wave. Go into the arbitrary function generator and there we are, a turkey wave. <laughs> Don't see that every day. It might be hard to pick up on this condenser microphone, but there is a definite humming of the fan going on, even with the unit turned off. 53.3 decibels to be exact. Now let's see what happens when I turn the power off completely to the unit.
So once it's turned off completely, it's about a 10 to 12 decibel lowering. So yeah, it definitely makes a difference. Mm, a minor great, but nonetheless, a little irritating. Closing thoughts on the Unity UPO 1204 Ultra Phosphor Oscilloscope. Yes and yes. This is one gorgeous scope to work with. Not only is it powerful, but it definitely is easy on the eyes. That phosphor technology really goes a long way, not just in looking at the readings and discerning more info from the waveform itself, but it's just super easy on the eyes. Make no mistake, this is a professional test instrument through and through, built like a rock, rock solid, and a lot of attention to detail. Hey, it's the small things that make a big difference and they really paid attention to the small things as well. That annoying loud fan, well, it's not super loud, but it's just loud enough, gets on my nerves. And the fact that it has a problem saving your settings. Yeah, that's right. When you make your custom settings, Close the unit down, turn it back on again, and guess what? It doesn't save them. You gotta do it over. Oh, that's the end of the day, though, it's pretty hard to go wrong with the UPO 1204. Just remember, it's an 8 bit, not a 12 bit scope. Really shouldn't matter to most of us, but if it matters to you, well, that's a different story. Long story short, Unity did a stand up job with the UPO 1204. This is a lot of scope for not a lot of dinero, and that, my friends, is a good thing. The Unity UPO 1204. Ultra Phosphor Oscilloscope gets a solid 3.5 out of 5 stars. Whether you need the latest pricing info or just info period on anything Unity Test Bench, UnitrendUS.com, that is your source. Give them a call, tell them Darren sent you. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.